Um, so if you if you raise the the average IQ of a group, you know what you get are these really interesting interaction effects where you make each person within the group a little bit more cooperative, having a little bit longer time horizons, and those two are related. The way to show this, is, as Jones did, and this, this is the stuff that I used to do in my academic world, you know, game theory and ethics, he would have his students play a prisoner's dilemma game or a, a public goods game. Basically, I'll just say the rough way of describing that is where there are short-term incentives to defect from yeah. mutually beneficial agreements, and then you get paid in the short term more, but long-term incentives getting bigger payoffs if you cooperate in the short term and forego some big short term payoffs um, in, in situations like that, smarter people tend to cooperate more for mutual gains in the long run. And what that translates to is remarkable. It translates things to, to things like higher savings rates in your country, which is good for the economy, um, uh, higher appreciation for the power of markets and prices to achieve their desired goal rather than to man, command and control. Um, so if you have a democracy, people who are a bit brighter tend to support markets a little bit more. I don't yeah. wanna get political, but it's just- that, That's it's, just what the correlation is. That's what uh, the correlation yeah. is, and that, that IQ does tend and, to- IQ and, and free market support are positively correlated. Yeah, 